Welcome back. We have to take a look at the prize pool. We've got $15 million to hand out here at Rios Masters. I say hand out. Come on, guys. It's earned. It's hard earned money by all these players. They put their life's work into the Dota we are witnessing today. And as we come closer to those grand finals, the stakes just get higher and higher. Focusing on nine pandas here as well. This is Effie, the team that has played 36 games. To put that in perspective, Talon has played 20. So Ooh. many more games. That must be, must be something good going for them. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Oh, he hits it with the blood grenade with the cold oh, snap, and the spirit gets there. Denies Ooh. the water rune. Makoto is gonna, gonna remain without mana. Meanwhile, bottom lane, that is where our first blood is gonna occur. This lane is honestly going pretty well for them outside of that first blood kill. They're just gonna rotate solo in. The gate on the Oracle will prompt the Batrider TP, but it might end up sacrificing Miro, as Ice Armor is not gonna help you versus the Firefly. Already level two for Q. Batrider give it away for the first time for uh, Talon in the first in quite some time. Oh, jabs! Sun He's going to be caught strike. in the sun strike, and that is going to be enough. Ramses is able to collect the last hit even better, so he can get back up to full HP. And your tower's taking a lot of damage. This is a catapult hitting your tier one while all this is happening. The haste focus fire rotation from Makoto. This is where if you're Miro, you go. Well, I tanked it for you, Kiyotaka. You're welcome. What can you do? That's what boys do. Oh, he is he going to die to the... Yep, he dies to the burn. And Taris will be able to chase him down, but it is a double kill for Makoto's. I mean, Rancy did he think he was going to get six with Creep Wave dying or something? Maybe. It's pretty close, honestly. If they get one of these kills, he'll get it. And Taris is going to die, so now getting the duel. And look, look at this. Oh, play. yeah, Miro. Miro's done for, man. He is surrounded by too many heroes. I don't think he can... Oh! He just walks straight back through the lane. And it just so happens the Rubik had went up and Q backed away from the Eidolons. Oli is still able to find him with this Invis rune. He does not have enough damage. He just did peek. Scouted out a bit. Oh, Jeff. He's going to go for the duel now. And they will get it. Finally, Oli is able to pounce. Took a full minute to be able to get that one. Meanwhile, focus fire in the bottom lane. Solo getting the disarm off, but it can only last so long. And the power shot is lethal. Sunstrike is going to be able to land. Makoto it. might die here. The fairy fire is not going to be enough to save him. It's going to be very difficult to run into, especially when you have Saze behind him, which Ninepan is doing the Oracle. And you have this Frost Armor just going on everybody. Flame Break is going to be able to bump him back into the lasso. Beautiful setup there from Q. This is why his Bat Rider has been first banned by so many teams. Something that Ninepan has have to think about killing first in the fight. They're going to find Ramses. Shackle Shot doesn't land. Ramses. He got the gold. Jukes away into the trees. Very nice. Ramses going to be hit by some focus fire. Duel on the other side. Blown up immediately. Jabs. Big fortunes. And that's going to be able to finish him off. Oh, black hole completely whiffing there from Miro. And the Doom is on a target they can't latch. These ults, they got their own. On oh, air. Really didn't do anything at all. All he protects himself with the Fate Bolt. Okay, no problem. Man, that was just terrible. Ramsey's gonna need some acceleration here. They really want Makoto off of this one. They might be able to get it with the tornado jump in. Telekinesis throw back. Makoto's gonna be able to dodge the meteor, and he's Ooh, okay. What a beautiful shackle shot. Lining it up. Fate Edict will protect Antares from the magic damage here, but the lasso is gonna be able to pull him back in. Jabs is still ready to go with the duel somewhere through this one. He's gonna chase after Antares oh, with his blade mail. He's gonna get that duel off, and he succeeds. 30 damage up to him now. Shackle shot onto Solo, but Talon are content with just putting damage onto this mid tower. Because this is also something, drafting wise, that uh, Seth mentioned they haven't picked up the Wind Ranger in the first one two for much of this Gonna tournament. But it was something they did all along during Dream League, which they got a top four at and are looking for a top four here with a kill on Antares. Everything actually aligning here perfectly for Nine Pandas. This is a fight. They need to take into They're going to get Roshan. the Doom out onto the Bat Rider, but the Telekinesis stolen. response got a stolen Doom, and he quickly runs straight at oh. the Invoker. They get him with the duel as well. No a beautiful response either. from Talon that will immediately get them two kills and lose nothing off the initiation from Nine Pandas. So Talon might just be willing to step forward and challenge Nine Pandas despite the extra life they have on Ramses. Radiance middle there it is, the duel on Solo, a perfect target. How did they catch him there? He's pinging that they had vision. I think they just went blind. Yeah. Jabs just Oh, knows. pick off after pick off? Kiyotaka now gets caught in the mid lane? Oh, nine pandas, this was supposed to be your time. 
it's it's a question of who goes in first here. And if you don't find oh, the Rubik, nice. it cannot be the Enigma. This is a big find if you can stop him going through the He's gate. He's trying to go through the gate, but the Malefist is going to stop him. 23. He uh, stayed on this side of the map after the successful fight they had. We're going to go late game. We have a black hole. Well, we have a stone gate. Well, we have a lasso. Well, we have a false promise. But only one team has a lasso pull the back. correct answer. Into the duel. And false promise barely gets there in time. And now it's still going to be a death on Antares, but they won't get the duel win, which is still nice. A moral victory. A moral victory, yes. A little bit counts here when you are pushing towards these big late game ults. I, these cores on nine pandas are no joke. Hey, let's just throw down the black hole. Yeah, you absolutely take that, as Sunstrike will secure the kill. And that's going to be more time on the map. Nine Pandas should get out of here as well. Summons are going to force Q back. It's going to push out with the Shadow Blade. It's going to wake up Roshan, which, I don't know, that might signal something to Talon if they see that. Well, they're just going to go with the Black they Hole. They just go onto the Medusa like that? Is that going to be enough damage? It's Actually, they burn him out of mana, but he eats up the... And he has enough mana to be able to get off the showcase. And now False Promise lays out onto the Bloodseeker the for the turnaround. That gets him through the duel. But so much damage is being laid into him. He's oh, going to die here. Turn. They he the Oracle, They all die. There was way too much physical damage. The False Promise did not do enough. Not even the heal off of the Legion Commander kill. You get the Doom on the Rubik to eliminate the Black Hole Steel. You all in him. It lasts the full duration. They still keep going. But a duel with the Blade Mail out on the Miro. That's going to be a win for sure. Hunter in 42 now for Jabs. He's trying Smoke to look. breaks on Jabs, so we might know that somebody pushed through on the side. Oh, he's going to try and get the duel. Atari, he does manage to get the duel out on a Jabs. And Ramses and Miro both jump out of their base to try and get after this, but they don't actually connect. And as a result, they just get lassoed up, immediately targeted down. Ramses is gone, and their lane of barracks might be gone as well, as he does not have buyback. A very creative idea on how to take the fight off that ward in the Doom on the Legion that backfires horribly, and now you're just going to have to give up some buildings. There is... He's going to try and catch something here. Yeah, it looks TP like he's going to get up. Q. Meteor comes in. He's going to have one little window to get a four snap, but the damage was too much. Kiyotaka landed it all by himself, really. So we would require Jabs to get there with a the smoke. Blink, Heaven's Halberd breakthrough, or just catch Solo underneath the ward. That's good, too. That more dual damage. He pops BKB. You can easily backpack BKB here on the Medusa and get past the cheese. 100%. They jump onto the back line. A blade belt does go up, but they got the lasso on a Kiyotaka. So even doom. a duel on a Jabs. Oh, the false promise on literally like 10 HP, 11 HP. But unfortunately, he's too damn stuck. Too much damage is going to come through, and they even just leave it behind to try and chase for more. Behind 23 Savage Makoto, who maybe with the flame break and a shackle shot? No. Doesn't latch to anything. It's off the map there. Makoto hit by the rupture. Talon are like, okay, great. We not only killed Kiyotaka, got a buyback out of him. I think they uh, have hit a timing where this Medusa is just a slow-moving juggernaut that is going to push to the high ground and can't be stopped. Break through the Lincolns. Can't quite get the duel. Jab, screwing it up, and now he's going to be caught in the black hole. Oh, he tried to make a move solo, and that is going to stall their push now for 90 seconds. He's chunking 23 fast. He has a butterfly of his own. They are getting through the mana here, and that's going to get through his Aegis now. Tried to go again for the lasso, but realized the Lincolns was on Ramsey, so he gave up on it. Now they're going to go for the black hole on Jabs! He stops it! Gets the duel on Amiro. There is going to be a false promise out, so still an opportunity. The black hole turned around. got used. got canceled. He got like half a second off of the black hole. Ramsey's caught inside the glide near. He wants to go for 23 right now. Double meter on him. Oh, the double meter's doing so much damage. And 23 is going to be burned out. They grab Ramsey's with the lasso, but it doesn't matter. Ramsey's wants to go in deeper. He kills the Medusa with the help of Kiyotaka. Kiyotaka maybe doing the heavy lifting there with a double meteor thanks to his refresher pickup. It finally paid off. It's even more of a burn on the Dusa and the potential of grouping these heroes up for the black hole as well. Because the burns over 600 mana. This is a very strong hero versus Medusa in the late game. They'll find the Doom on the map. He has gem, by the way. Yeah, just what they need. This kind of kill is perfect. They're going to get a dual win for it, too. You have to keep in mind, he has Refresher. So Double BKB can get another Stone Gates here as well, and he will claim a melee rack. Nine Pandas? Are they going to be able to sneak this out? The bane of Talon. their tournament. They might just be able to Jabs 
He's gonna have an opportunity. Power shot goes in. Jabs. He's gonna he get the duel. He's got a duel. There's the black hole in response. All of the things are still on the ground right now. Somebody pick up that damn Aegis. Jabs. He's gonna die inside of the pit. They're holding strong with a false promise. Going out into Ramsey. He's the one who got the Aegis. So he might die to this, but it doesn't matter. A black hole controlling up 23, but he's running out of resources. He goes for the refresher, but it's gonna be a lot of mana. A mana he doesn't have anymore because too much damage came in. A big burst hit able to finish off the Enigma, but he still goes down. Knock Panthers just want to get out right now. Buybacks out from Talon. If they escape, they got away with murder. They got away with like murder and will. Grand Theft Aegis. They just took away the Roshan that should have been Talon. That please, sir. Another lasso countered out by the False, False promise. promise. Beautiful. Duel going to be delayed up as well. Jads, who used an Aggro Scepter, by the way, so they're not doing any damage to Antares. Oh, this is awkward. He still managed to kill him, fortunately. The downside for Nine Pandas is they committed a lot of ultimates at that Roche Pit. This is very risky. They bought back the Medusa, the Legion, and the Batrider for that fight. They need a minute. But a minute might be too much. Ramsey's dying fast. They don't have the false promise. All they have is the cheese. They got the duel off on him. They just all on him. They say the cooldowns are up and we can kill him. He does have buyback here. Will he be forced to use it? How far do Talon push this without a second life on their carry here? Makoto, he's just pushing forward. Focus fire, takes out a tier three. Man, to get a lasso on solo. to Solo. Aeon. Aeon disc, that'll protect him. A buyback here from Ramsey. He's right in the middle of the fight, trying to go for Q. He's a Wind stuck. Waker gets him away. I would I would pray for the, <laughs> the single target player. Makoto, he's game. committing. Melee barracks, almost him. Glyph is going to be used. They really... Nine Pandas have to stop this. Otherwise, <laughs> you're going to so be playing hard. up against Megas. Antares, the focus fire is on almost the side. back up. The time to jump is now. Lincoln, so are going to start fighting through that one EMP with the ice wall on to Makoto. Just trying to force some sort of reaction from Talon. Get them to group up so that way Nine Pandas can do something with this. But Talon, hold. He's just going back in. It's going to be Megas guaranteed. He jumps for it, gets the Megas. Now they have to try and kill him on his way out, but he's just, nothing's landing. In fact, he gets a glide near and Q. Taka's the one in trouble. Nine Pandas, they're going to have to just settle for fighting up against Megas while 60 minute items are going to be farmed by Talon. Look at this Kiyotaka scouting. He sees jabs right now. He's going to get the TP cancel. Break the smoke. Can he get through this link? Get him. He got him. That was so damn close. Is there the follow-up? Is there chase here? He was on his way to try and help out. BKB turn around, jabs, refreshes. They do manage to get a Q oh, on Tari's pull him up into the high ground to the False Promise. He does manage to blink back down. Solo using the False Promise, now going to be targeted. Wind Waker away from Q. Black Hole thrown it's out. It's only illusions. And he stole Black Hole and Ollie. An opportunity for a turn around. He's got Blink BKB. This is dangerous for Nine Pandas who have not lost their carry for two minutes straight up. And Kiyotaka tries to jump in. Does all even have to use that black hole? It just is not needed, really. Buybacks forced out. And of course, Ramsey's. That's his dieback. Two minutes. No Bloodseeker here. They got to kill at least Makoto the Wind here. Waker. But the Wind Waker comes through. He comes back down still into the black hole. Press it's the attack. Nope, that debuff immunity. He's walking away. He's walking away. They can't even take one life away from Talon, let alone 10. It's just not working for nine pandas in the late game, being herded back to their fountain. Mega's up and there it there's is. the black hole. Ollie immediately gets doomed back up. But you might be able to stop some of the black holes, but you can't stop the damage from hitting your throne. Talon. We'll take a 1-0 lead. For Talon means one game between them and moving forward here in Riot Masters and securing top four. It's been a lot of game threes, so it would not surprise me if they pull it back with a draft that is very flexible. Like that's how I view it. Uh, I think the well, Blood Grenade actually might just get Antares here. Kiyotaka, how much do you want to take this for your support? The answer is not very much. He is in a rough matchup. The best utility hero left in the pool. Like they just wanted an Aura Buyer for the Deuce and Storm. Go Look behind his body him. blocking. Beautiful stuff. Ramses oh. is dead. Last hit's going to be collected by Q with the Battery Assault. As he is just greeting it up, pulling waves to neutral camps that are Kodo stacked. Kodo might just have himself. his chance to get his first kill. Solo slowed down quite a bit, got off the heel. Makoto's gonna get in front of him, hit it with the remnant, and they're gonna go for the plus one here. And Tari's pulled back into Ollie with the silences. Double kill from Makoto. And double the int. Looking bottom, he wants this juggernaut. No spin. He already got off the healing ward though. He's got the Omni Slash and he gets it off here, but a damage is enough. Good burst from Makoto. Ember Spirit trying to catch Ollie here. The surge got him. What a chance! How did that latch both heroes vacuum back in? It's beautiful though. Kiyotaka is likely to be fine, but they do trade off supports. Yeah, Makoto is still lingering, so he's happy to clean up some more gold off the kill. 
jabs out of this Wisdom Rune. This They're so going to bring some heroes over, but they might not be here in time. Kiyotaka. Burning his mana. Yeah, he, he does have a little bit for the mech jabs. Really wants a Wisdom Rune, and they will get it. And you know what? The Ember Spirits is like, oh, oh I just drew four heroes here. Hookshot does land on Taris. He's going to turn around Mystic Flare, but not enough damage to kill. So. Everybody. This is a Shelled Darks here, on, or Shelled Clockwork, so you have extra damage as well. Oh, he went for the Watcher, and immediately they pounce on him. That Orchid, it should be enough almost by itself, but they even have Q just to make sure with the hook shot. So, Orchid. Meanwhile, there's a Doom on Jabs as Miro ramps up the aggression with that Octarine finish. I don't think he's going to get it, though. No, he's trying to make this kind of play by himself. Well, maybe not, and Tari's going to come in and actually get the finishing oh, blow here. Bolt. But he's probably going to get caught. At least the Doom is certainly dead. And Tari's not going to be slowed down. There were just not enough mana on Makoto. Solo, shame. Too old to micro the Centaur here. Yeah, he's so focused on trying to micro the Centaur that he dies to the gank that I feel like was... That was all of Storm's mana. He's going to try and... More. Oh, Kiyotaka! Global Silence into the Orchid. Hook shot just to make sure. A little bit more damage. They got it. The Cogs pushback. That, that is just so enough. Close. Dude's going to go for a desperate TP out. And he Ooh. makes it. Oh, very nice. It looks a bit awkward, but you don't want your Storm getting doomed or Ancient Sealed on those attempts. Maybe you're just doom off onto the Medusa before it's Stone Gaze. The rest of the team, though, is going to struggle to get here. Once again, Miro jumps on a hero that he can't actually finish by himself, and Talon will be able to respond just like last time. The Media Orchid put onto Antares while they try and finish off solo. Not enough damage, though. Vacuum, oh, we got vacuum. four! Oh, beautiful vacuum grabbing three heroes. Talon still have a hard time, though. They're pushing up to this high ground. They do manage to get solo off of the extra illusion damage. But they I don't know why I thought to... it was four. That's yeah. NA math right there, but he'll get them all. Ramsey's actually Jump on Ramsey's. Oh, no! Plus two. They could afford small little pickoffs like the Enchantress, but losing their carry. Now that is going to smart for Talon as the smarts grow on Ollie. Now up to 10 intelligence stolen. And he's also not completing a Crimson Guard or Guardian Grease. He wants a Lotus Sword next, which is a cool idea to help that Storm Spirit even more. Jump in the hook shot. Makoto follows it up. There is no doubt that Makoto's build has paid off in this game. You gotta Look put him to use at some point. Oh, no way! That was such a close force or uh, Blink Dagger on the Jetpack hook shot there. Looks oh, like they may Lotus. still collect, though. In fact, maybe they could even get better. Ramses does manage to get off the spin, but he's now globally silenced. Healing Ward finally goes out after he pops a Manta, but he's immediately stunned up, so can't get anything off in return. It turns out better for nine, or excuse me, for Talon than they ever could have dreamed of. Just Went from killing the Doom to killing Juggernaut. Nothing going right for Ramses in this game. A hero and player that they put their hopes behind to scale and have, in theory, a perfect game to be able to deal with the Medusa. Another Lotus at some point on jabs. These Omni Slashes are not going to be easy. Manta turned the Diffusal into the Mana Burn. He is burning away some of the mana from Makoto. Too bad nine pandas aren't strong enough to punish that. He's still going to get caught. Man. This game, Talon, this game is just crumbling. Right Doom the Dusa if you connect it with the Omni Slash. Unfortunately, your smoke got broken on a Creep Wave and a Ward. They see everything right now. Oh, can they change this? Hook shot into the global, got off the Manta immediately afterwards. There goes the follow-up silence, Doom so he has storm. to spin away. Now, the Doom on the Storm is going to stop Talon a little bit here, but 23 is still looking pretty strong. And Ramsey's. what a jump from Jabs. Another three-man vacuum that sets up 23 to just cleave through the supports. They finish off the Juggernaut and the Enchantress and chase away the Doom. Oh, and Antares is going to get caught as well. Man, Jabs. And more body blocking, the same body blocking he used to kill Ramses in the very first kill of the game. Makoto oh, will look at the little continue his rampage. While you are losing all the big ones. 23 hitting their base, only he doesn't even need the Aegis. He's just so damn big. They're bypassing Roche entirely. They're not protected by Solo. They are truly giving up on this lane. You want to find some supports between the Ember and this Juggernaut. Maybe Jetpack is going to get a lot of first. information. The man's going to hook shot out to Kiyotaka. Push him back with the Cogs. And he's going to die here with the vacuum. Pull back on two other heroes with the Stone Gaze going out at the same time. Ramses just cannot get anything off, man. A silence, a, a Manta, a global silence. It's all countering Nine Panda's moves.
way too much control and it has been executed way too well by Talon. You're looking down a second lane. You're going to have to tomb the Tusa. Oh, we got Down the Lotus boys. bounce back. So Miro's going to be tombed up here as well. An aggressive force tap put onto Antares. He gets put into the cogs. And now, oh, Kiyotaka, a slight, a jump away. But Miyotaka, ah, even Kota's just waiting for him on the other side. That's it. GG is called. And Talon, another 2-0 against Nine Pandas. And another top four finish for them.